Welcome back to Uncreative Crowd. This week we have a robot for your phone. So this is the PickBot by Stacked, originally funded on Kickstarter. It is a smart automated photo and video robot. Let's check it out. So opening it up, this is very much like an Apple box. So we've got the device, super smooth, nice finish. It's like a matte black. We have a micro USB charging cable, as well as a remote. Oh wow, this is a really nice remote. Yeah, Bluetooth remote, it's got an on off button. So this remote actually is a rechargeable battery as well, has the micro USB port for charging. Let's flip this up. Oh goodness, oh wow. You see that? Do you see that? You flip this up and then you can put your phone in here and it's got a few different notches so you can angle it to your desired angle and then it closes flush for easy stowaway packing what have you. The Apple battery case on my iPhone 6 is too thick to fit in here so that's kind of a bummer but the phone itself fits in real nice and let's try it at the different angles to make sure it'll actually stay and it does so there we go we are making progress here what this little device does is it's got a few different really neat features and it's specifically for camera purposes on your phone so if you are a big instagrammer taking all kinds of pictures with your phone get, trying to get that perfect shot perfect video you name it that's what this is supposedly supposed to be for there is an app on Oh goodness, that paired. Like I've never experienced any device like that, that it just automatically connects. So that's pretty spectacular. Okay, so we're getting real fancy here. Got this camera set up so I can actually show you what I'm doing on the screen because there, I can't just get my phone. <sighs> Apple, you need to be able to allow screen recording on your devices. So annoying. Let's click on this. Let's go to video. Oh my goodness, you see this? Facial tracking. Oh my goodness. That's the camera you're being recorded on. This is amazing. Look at how smooth that turns too. That is incredible. And it keeps my face in frame as best it can centered the whole time. Oh, and see, look at this, you guys, are really seeing the behind the scenes stuff here. Um, this is actually just a sticker on the wall that is going to be going away, hopefully extremely soon because my wife and I are building an actual wood wall that's gonna sit back here, which is gonna be amazing. I'm super excited about it. So as you can see, if I get my face totally out of the screen, it will not continue to track me because it doesn't know where I went. Except maybe it does. That's awesome. Okay, it seems like if I go out too fast, then it won't continue to track. But sometimes it does. It's weird. Let's go to panorama. So 180 degree panorama camera. Okay, so these are gonna be some really strange pictures, but um, again, just testing out functionality, seeing how well it works. So this is actually a really neat feature. It is. Basically, <laughs> it's just gonna keep doing it. This is nuts. As you could see, that was just continuously taking pictures of me. And the reason for that is because it's something called still motion capturing. And what it's doing is it's tracking the, those faces, whether it's one, two, or three faces. And once those three, two, or one faces stop and they're in a still position, it will start counting down and it will automatically take a picture. And then there's the remote. And I can zoom in with the remote on my face. Pretty stinking incredible. Um, I mean, I guess really not that incredible. Okay, now I just canceled the facial tracking and I am manually with the remote spinning it to uh, my desired location. I love how smooth it spins and it can, it's got 360 degree rotation if you hadn't already noticed, going either direction which is incredible. Oh, it actually turns pretty darn smooth. So looking back at that footage really quick, it seems that it is a little 
um, has a little bit of stability issues just due to the fact that it's spinning the the phone is going to move a little bit. I'm really disappointed that the time-lapse feature is not there. According to the Kickstarter campaign, the time-lapse ability of this was you were supposed to be able to set the phone in here, set how long you want the time-lapse to run. I, I assume like how long total length of time that you want it to run for. And then also the degree of turn that you wanted. So if you wanted like a 90 degree turn, um, you could do that. One thing to note is that on the bottom there is the quarter inch threading. You can mount it to really any type of camera mount, which is a nice feature. You could put it on a tripod, what have you. Actually, actually this did come with it. This is a little mini tripod. This is an interesting thing. Little itty bitty tripod. There are rubber grips on the bottom, so it'll stay in place. I've never seen this in a tripod, but there's a lever here that locks it and it unlocks it and you push it and it's unlocked, but you let go and it's locked. So you don't need to lock it, you just need to pull the lever so you can move it and adjust it and then it automatically locks. So a few things to note about the PickBot. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The PickBot comes in three different colors. Obviously this is the black, there is a silver and a rose. I assume it's supposed to be like a rose gold. You may be wondering, Ryan, What's the retail price on that? Well, the retail price on this PickBot, I haven't been able to find it for purchase online at this point in time, except for the Kickstarter campaign. Everything that I found online links me back to the Kickstarter campaign for pre-orders, even though it's already ended. So I don't know if you can actually just go online and purchase this at this point in time, but I will put the link to the website in the description box below and on the Kickstarter they said that the retail price of this PickBot is going to be $200. So would I buy this again for $200? Honestly, it's a neat device but I don't take pictures a lot. Even if I was super into photography and whatnot, I can't say that I would. I would have a hard time spending $200 on this device. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. With that, we will see your wonderful faces next week for a new product. Peace!